Residents of Milledgeville and Baldwin County are expressing their concerns over the increase in violence over the last several months. 41 NBC's Elizabeth Gutierrez spoke with several community members about what's being done to fix the problem. I spoke with residents on and off camera who all agree with the Milledgeville mayor that the violence in the community must stop. I believe it's hurting our city, our county. You know, we want our homes to have value. We want our county to have value. We want our people to feel safe. I want to feel safe. I want my children, my grandchildren to feel safe. Sheila Braswell has lived in Baldwin County for over 30 years. She says the county used to be a safe place. I'm at the park walking and I want to feel safe when I walk. I don't want to have to worry about this. I'm going to have to duck, a, a duck, duck and dodge. Braswell believes county and city leaders should implement programs for the youth to be involved in the community. One local business owner says he agrees with the city efforts in coming together to address the problem. I think there is a perception maybe of people coming to town worried about what's going on and I think it I think it's important that we do address the issue. Justin Jones, like many others in the community, are in full support for the city and county to help decrease the violence. And for those causing the problems? Find something better to do. Find something more productive to do. Um, we don't need that here. As residents express their concerns, many of them tell me they want community members to do their part in reporting any suspicious activity to authorities. In Milledgeville, Lisbeth Gutierrez, 41 NBC News. And during Tuesday's news conference, city and county leaders discussed providing more funding to law enforcement to help decrease violence.